This following video is presented by Presence Consulting Group, where we commit ourselves to your project success. For more information, please visit our website at www.presencecg.com. Today, our technical topic is using the property sheet in Iron Speed Designer. And our presenter is Iron Speed MVP Herman Chan. For questions after seeing the video, please email Herman at herman.chan at presencecg.com. Hi everybody, thanks for watching my Iron Speed video about using a property sheet. So basically when you first launch Iron Speed Designer, um, depending on your setting, the property sheet might not be visible. So if it is not, just go to um, View and then go Select Properties. Now you have the tab right here uh, for you to pull up the property sheet. For my demonstration, I'm going to leave it on, so I'm going to just going to click on this pin right here so it stays on. Um, the property sheet mimics greatly with Visual Studio.net, the IDE from Microsoft where which I'm sure uh, every one of you is quite familiar. So basically this is also a context sensitive uh, properties uh, window so if you select uh, any one of those control the properties changes dynamically so right now I'm on a text box and then uh, it shows all the properties related to this text box uh, I can change the control type here I can uh, you know change to have it populated from a different database view from all the styles and first off I want to change some simple settings just to get everybody familiar with how this is this can be used right now I'm on the added product page and it looks like this right now so let me refresh this is one of the design themes that comes with the Iron Speed Designer and it has the, the default uh, styles so I'm gonna change some of them have product name to be bold I'll change the background color and and then you'll see how easy it is to change all those within the properties um, sheet or window So I'm going to change the background color to be yellow, change the font to be bold, and then for the price, I want to change it to be strike out and red in color. see how e e easy it is to change it the next thing I want to show is how to easily use the property sheet to turn auto post back on and do some simple coding so let's go back to Iron Speed Designer and this time we're gonna attach the event with the property group ID which is a drop-down list and by the way you can also change your control type by clicking on this and if you want to show it as a literal you can easily change your option click OK and in our case we want to let it stay as a drop down list because we're going to attach an event to it first thing I want to turn on the auto post back so I highlight the property gr uh, product group ID go back here and turn on the auto post back so every time I change the option it will do a post back to the server and trigger the uh, selected index change event so let me come here and start putting my own code for time's sake I put in some code earlier uh, on the manufacturer ID I'm just gonna copy that and put it under the product group ID and I'll put it like this So what this line of code means is that whenever I change the product group, I will populate the chosen product group 
uh, the text to be inside to be displayed inside the product image file name text box. So let's build it. And you'll see that in a second. Let me refresh the page. And now if I change the product group, you see the product image file name text box is being updated as well to my selected product group so that's another way you can make use of the property windows the last thing I want to talk about in this tutorial is to demystify the large list selector first what is the large list selector so whenever you have a drop-down list it could have hundreds of items and that would negatively impact the performance of your application because it would load let's say if you have 10 drop down lists and each one of those have 100 items so basically loading a, a thousand uh, items on your page without even seeing all of them or, or most of them so this is a drop down list and whenever you see this little icon right here this is your large list selector so you clicked on it and then it pop up this window for you to search for the option that you're, you need to select and in this case let's say if you want to select HP you just click on this and this becomes HP so this this is pretty intuitive and this is especially handy when you have like thousands of items and you don't want to show it all so how do I control it first let's go back to RM Speed Designer whenever you highlight a drop-down list control within uh, the RM Speed Designer under the properties window you have two options one is called large list selector threshold another one is called maximum generated items and there are two different settings for maximum generated items is basically the number of items that you want to include in your drop down list so let's say from the database you have two thousand items and you only want to show a hundred you can specify a hundred here and then the drop down list would only load the first hundred items not to overload your application and the setting for large list selector threshold basically is letting you set when do I want to have that icon displayed so right now both of those options are default and where do I know what is the default you go to application generation options under tools and there are under two different items you clicked open the gen general application options and for page controls you can see the maximum list box size is 100 which means 100 items is the default to be loaded under that drop down list and for large list selector control by default is also 100 so in, in that case all the pages throughout the whole application are using those two numbers but you can always override on a page by page level so right now let's say I want to um, here you can see that product group control I have uh, maybe 10 or 12 options under product group but then my large list selector is not being shown because it's not past 100 so I'm going to lower the number so you can see that so let me do it as let's say 5 and then I want to show the maximum to be 8 so what I'm expecting is to see the largely selected control and also I should only see 8 items under the product group drop down list So as you can see, the largely selector control shows up this time because we have set the threshold to be 5. And if you click on this and then you count the number of items, you see, hang on, there are 9 items. How come there are 9? Because it will first um, load up the first 8 
and in this case our product group is workstations which is not in the first stage so it will add the additional item to uh, to this drop down list that's why you have nine items all together and if you use the large list selector you can see that our code to populate the image file name is still there working so that's all for today's video thank you for watching and if you have any questions or need help in your project please give us a call see you next time bye